Hi, welcome to my channel. Building upon the circuit from the last video where uh, we're controlling two separate servos with this joystick, I'm going to attach these two servos to this pan and tilt kit that I purchased from Adafruit. It's just a couple of plastic pieces and you attach these two servos and it gives you a pan and tilt motion that I'll be able to control with the joystick. So this is pretty inexpensive. You get some hardware with it. And um, you can buy it assembled and I'm, I'm thinking that it's probably worth it to buy it assembled. Uh, there are some horns that you get but it looks like I'm going to have to trim them down in order to fit into the bottom of the base. That's where one of the first, that's where the first servo goes or one of the servos. Uh, so the servos are about six dollars a piece and this kit is uh, $4.95. You can buy a completely assembled one for $18.95 and um, it might be worth it but you know if you like to do things uh, yourself build these little kits um, it, that this might be more interesting to you you know pro solving some problems like I said uh, I'm gonna have to trim off this uh, I think they call these uh, horns and uh, that fits get screwed into the, in the bottom of this base here. So let me go ahead and assemble this and I'll show you what we end up with once it's all assembled. So the first thing I have to do is trim off this horn to fit in the base here. There's a little bit of a profile on the bottom there and then there are holes that will line up with the holes in this horn. So you can see there it's just too large to fit on the bottom there. You can see the outline of where that sits and the servo, one of the servos just presses, the shaft presses into that. So I have to trim that. So I think this just sits like that. Hopefully some of those holes will line up with the holes in the base. Um, I don't know what side. I guess this that's flat. There is some profile there that raises it up a little bit. Um, yeah, you can see the holes kind of line up. Do they don't line up? Yeah. So, I don't know, do I put the screws in from this side or from this side? Probably from the base, from the bottom. And you get some hardware, if I can find it. There's the hardware. Let me back up a little bit. So I've got these smaller screws. I'm assuming these are the ones that I should use. Is it the last one always the one that's difficult? Okay. That goes in. Now don't torque it down too much. This is just plastic. Okay, that looks like that worked. So this just presses in. So I had to look at the website to get an idea of how to orient this. Um, so this first one gets sandwiched in between these two halves. So they've got the cable. You can see here there's a slot that this slides into. It's a pretty tight pressure fit there. That's not going to be loose once you fit that in there. And then the other half like so. So I guess I just use two of these sort of self-tapping type of screws that would fit in here. Let's see if those work. They don't seem long enough. 
Oh, it's grabbing, so that should be that should work. And then this just presses into that. But I'll do that last, I think. Now I have to figure out how this second servo gets oriented into this. Have to look at the website again. So if we look at this piece here, there's a notch. Looks like that's like for holding the, a cable. So if I orient the servo on here and this cable so evidently would you know walk in to this these two tabs here like this and let's see how to secure this okay so you, you, you need a horn on this side also so one of these horns so this black one here and I get this white one does this fit that fits perfect that horn so that fits there and I'm only left with I need more of these smaller screws here uh, only one's gonna fit in there Okay, so I just have one screw left over. I put four in the base here. You should get more of those smaller screws. So there's one screw here holding this horn on. I still have to secure this with these two okay so I use the two self tapping screws for this and this hmm is this going to just snap on here is there enough bend in that? That just snaps on. Like so. Okay. Now all I need to do is to attach that horn onto that. Oh yeah, that presses on. See what type of screw can fit in that. That looks like that'll work. And the only thing I have to do now is press this into here. Oh, I see. Well, the base is easy to calibrate because you configure the range of motion here. So I have that initially set wrong. I want, well, depending on how I want this base. That's not right, so. so you really do have to calibrate this so you see the range of motion and how you want that range oriented with the bottom base. Um, let's see, from here to here, so it's from one side to the other, and I want that. I want this side to be pointing for that direction. That's how I want it. So I have to leave that like that. 
take this screw out pull this off and then reposition it so it's here that's how I want the base one to be that's that's how I want it that's that makes more sense from there to there for the range of motion all right let's uh, hook this up okay so I have it all hooked up let's see how this works this is controlling the bottom and the range of motion it's kind of jerky but I'm sure that uh, has a solution on the software side but you can see here how we've taken the motion uh, from the joystick and translate that into mechanically into this pan and tilt so is the tilt and let's see pan so to make this more interesting I guess you could have like I don't know some type of uh, sensor on here motion sensor uh, you put a maybe a camera on here or but this is just to help understand uh, these principles here. I don't know if there's really any practical use of this circuit. It's pretty jerky. I'm sure that has to do to some extent with the quality of the servos also. So this is a basic example of how you can go about controlling two servo motors with the Arduino Uno. And in this case, I'm using a joystick, which allows me to control two separate 10K potentiometers. And with that control, I then uh, have the two servo motors hooked up uh, mechanically. So it gives me a control of a pan and tilt action. And in this case, I'm just using a uh, pan and tilt kit from Adafruit. It gives me the base for hooking up these two servos. So if you found this video interesting, feel free to subscribe, like, and or comment. And thanks for watching.